have a high quality fragrance to review for you guys today. It's coming from the house of Argos. And like I said, every fragrance that I have in this house is of high quality. And this one that we're gonna be talking about is no exception. So let's jump right into it. So the Argos fragrance that we're gonna be talking about today is Love Triumphs Over War. So this is a 2023 release. And as with all Argos bottles, you know, the artistry is always a 10 out of 10. Great metal cap, you know, get the jewel on the top. And of course that, you know, hand painted plaque that's on the front, great stuff. You can check it out in the B-roll that I got showing. So to go over this fragrance, what we have right here is a sweet, powdery, floral, fruity type of a fragrance. Before I go into my opinions about the fragrance, let's just go over the notes that's within this fragrance. In the top, we have some rose, we have some bergamot, black currant, we have some lemon, orange blossom, some raspberry, and some tuberose. In the mid, we have some cinnamon and cloves, along with some geranium and iris, also some violet and elongulum. In the base, we have some amber and cashmere wood, along with some miso sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and white musk. So, like I said, in my opinion, this fragrance right here is a very elegant dress up type of a fragrance. It's soft, floral, powdery. So this is one that you won't really offend anybody with. A high quality of ingredients goes into this one right here. On my skin, I get great longevity and projection. And what I really like about this one right here, to me, this fragrance is like taking your nose and just, you know, putting it in a fresh pile of, you know, freshly dry laundry. You know, you got those dry sheets in there with this game time, whatever it is to use, that smell that you like, you know, with that warm cotton feel behind it, that's what I get with this fragrance right here. The raspberry and rose that's in this fragrance right here is something that I'm used to because I do have the fragrance Adonis Awakens. So you can kind of, you know, get that same core of raspberry rose combination in this one as well as you get in Adonis Awakens. Y'all know I love me some iris, and the iris here definitely gives it a powderiness, which makes this fragrance a bit fluffy. And the other thing in this fragrance that really sticks out to me is the Ylang Ylang, which gives it this hint of a banana type of a smell. So all in all, you have a great combination of florals. You have some powderiness, you have some woodiness, you have some fruitiness. This right here, you have a great amount of everything that creates an elegant fragrance, which I would say can definitely be preserved for your events like weddings and things of that nature. But me, in my opinion, I wear it whenever I feel like wearing it. And yeah, you can too. I would say this is great for all seasons. And if I had to give this one right here a rating, I'm giving this fragrance right here a 9.0.